Hey guys, welcome to another R&R uh, workout. So today's workout is generally going to be focusing on uh, upper body strength and we're going to also sort of connect our core with our upper body. Um, that's going to help with uh, swimming and sort of and things like that basically. So to just start off with, uh, we're just going to um, do a quick warm up. So we're going to go into downward dog straight away. So nice wide grip. So legs apart, high hips, and go down into downward dog. Just really stretch out your hamstrings. At both sides, get nice and high. And then slowly come straight through into cobra. Point your toes and look up at the sky. Just feel a nice stretch through the front of your body. Okay, so we're going to pick up pace a little bit, go back up into downward dog. Hips nice and high. Hang out here for a sec. And then down into cobra. So that's two. We're going to go for ten to so come back up. Downward dog. Reach up nice and high. Get your, try and get your heels to the ground. And then come through into cobra. And back up. Just move your body around. Just feel where you're tight in your shoulders and your hips. And come through. And cobra. Just give it a little twist. Just get your back working nice. Just feel everything beginning to ease up. Pop back up into downward dog. You should be feeling a bit more flexible now. Just feel all the joints in your body opening up. Come through and back down. Okay. A couple more of these. And down. And last down with dog. And that's it. Let's come back up to a standing position. It's going to do a few wide stance squats and sumo squats. Get a nice, nice wide stance outside your shoulders. Look straight forward. Reach forward for your hands with balance. And down. And just feel where your flexibility is now. That's two. We go for 20. Three, and just feel as you gradually warm up, you can get a bit deeper. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You just come straight through the hips, finish the movement, go nice and deep. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, get back onto the floor on your backs and go into a reverse plank. So put your hands behind you, just behind your shoulders, put the legs straight out in front of you, and then bridge up into the plank, reverse plank. And just let this open up your chest. Just feel your shoulders gradually opening up. You come down for a second if you want and come back up and get a bit deeper. And just hang out here for a bit. And just gradually open up your chest. Move around. So your front delts just ease up. And then come down. Okay, so if you've got your broomsticks, it doesn't matter if you haven't, you can use the towel instead. Just hold this broomstick out in front of you. We've got that. 
Just go get our shoulders a bit more warm with some rotations to come up and over and slowly bring it down, drop to the back. Just work through this range of motion and just gradually let everything move along at its own pace and just warm up your shoulders. Getting to all those corners that are tight, just find your sticking point and just hang out there for a little bit and just get that to ease up and then come through. And about five more should do it. So one, two, three, four, and last one, five. Great, okay, so we're gonna go through four pairs of exercises. So the first pair is going to be dive bomber press-ups and into a reverse press-up. So you need your sticks again for this. It doesn't, you don't necessarily need them, but it, it, you'll see why in a second. Okay, so we're going to do three sets. And we're going to aim for, try and get to five to 10 reps. So we're aiming mainly for strength. So if you get all the way to 10, then try one of the harder variations of the exercise. Um, if you can't get to five, then just try and aim for form and do one rep at a time and just to get used to the movement and practicing. So dive on press-ups. You can be on your knees in a press-up position, or you can be in a full press-up. Either way, the starting position is the same. And you're going to pike back and imagine that there's a bar in front of you that you've got to dip over under to go for a nice wide grip. Dip under the bar and then look up at the sky. Go back under the bar and go back up to your pipe position. So that's really going to strengthen all of your shoulders, your chest muscles, everything. And it gets a good range of motion for your shoulders for swimming. Okay, the second exercise is going to be a reverse press up. So on your back, give a nice tight core, and then with your arms at 90 degrees with your body, and this is where the bar helps to imagine the exercise, is you're going to push back into the floor and lift your body up. It's a really small movement. But you should be able to meet the bar with your chest and go back down. Okay, so we're going to run through those two exercises. The three sets. And it's five to ten reps. I'm going to go for ten each time. And then we'll move on. Okay, so dive bombers. And up into a bike. Under the bar. One back under and pike and go through. This is going to start counting. So it's two, three, four, five. You can always drop to your knees if you need to. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Should be starting to feel it. <laughs> and ten. Okay, so about that. So we're going to go on to reverse press ups. Get your bar. We're going to try and get a high, high chest. So you should feel this in your middle back. So 10 reps. You pull, hold it for two. One, two, and back down. 
Second rep. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Hold. Great. Okay. Have a little short rest. And get ready to go for the press ups again. Okay, so it should be a bit harder this time around. It's already slightly fatigued. So come back up. Get ready to do dive on press ups. So, one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Looks like that's eight for me. And I just hit failure there, so that's good. So I'm working the right range of motion. Come back round. And do the reverse press ups. So, really try and get your arms at 90 degrees of your body and get a really good peak contraction in your back. Off we go again. Second time around. Right, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Really lift your body off the ground. Bring your chest to the bar. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, last round of these. This pair. So. You're going to go for 10 again, but if you can't make it, that's fine. Just work to whatever your body can do today. And into the pike, and back down under the bar, and up. That's one. Two. You can remember you can always drop to your knees if you need to. Three, four, getting difficult now, five, and six. I go to my knees and seven. And eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, well done everyone. So next pair is an exercise called Renegade Row. And you need either some hand weights, or in my case I've got kettlebells. What you're gonna do is get into a, a um, plank position, or if you've only got hand weights, you can go into a press up again and do one arm at a time and row. And just pass it between your hands, each side, each rep, like that. 
trying to keep a nice flat plank, plank. everything in line, tight core, and then sag when you lift the weight. Okay, so we do 10 of those, that would be five reps each side. And then after that, we'll move on to a plank toe touch. So we go into the plank and then free arm, touch your opposite toe and come back and then swap over. Okay, so that's the second exercise. So free hand, touch your toe, free hand, touch your toe. So all these exercises are working your strength and your shoulder stability. So that's really helpful for when, yeah, for our swimming and all that sort of stuff. So ready to go. We're going to do 10 reps and 10 reps. Everyone ready? Right, off we go. So alternate side, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep your body nice and flat. Nine and ten. Okay, move the weights. Go into the plank. And touch your opposite toe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, so you should feel that in your shoulders and in your core as you're reaching through. So let's have a little shake out. Get your weight into the right position. So I'll demonstrate with a, a hand weight now. Okay, everyone ready? I think we're ready to start the next set. Hand position, alternate hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, around this way, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Straight into the toe touches. So, Alex, what would you say yes. to someone if they can't touch their toe doing the toe touches? Okay. Um, yeah, you can just go up into the movements as high as you can. So you can't touch your toes. Just reach as far as you can and get close. The whole point of it is just to be on one arm supporting your weight. Come down into a plank and then back up. Okay? Is that right? So, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay, on to our last round. Just shake out for a little bit. Everyone okay? All good? Brilliant. Okay. So last set. We go back up into the kettlebells again. Do it this way around for a change. Get your body nice and straight. Everything in line, hips in line, head in line, and then row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. Okay, last of the toe touches, if you can. If you can't, just reach as far as you can. Okay, into the back, and reach one. Nice and high, hips. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, well done, everyone. So, have a little breather. Wipe well, up any sweat. Hopefully you have some. Okay, the next um, exercise is a wide plank walkout. So what it is, again, we're going to the plank. The reason I'm doing all of this is because we're really trying to connect all the strength that we've got up here and down here together. So into a plank. And it's a very small movement. Just walk your hands a centimetre at a time, away from you. You get to about here and it gets very tough, very quick, and then walk it back. Just go as far as you can until you really feel the stress comes on in your abs. That might only be that far, because the leverage of our arms really builds up the resistance of the exercise very, very quickly. The second part of this pair is a bridge press up. So it's quite a tricky one. You're going to be on your back, like so. Get your heels close to your backside. Get your hands next to each ear. And then go up into a bridge if you can, but only by about a centimetre off the floor. All we're doing is we're just supporting our body weight with our arms in this position. So you can just go up a centimetre like that and then lower back down. You don't need to go into a full bridge. If you can, if you want to, that's fine. But we only need about a centimetre off the ground just to activate our upper middle back, okay? If you want to just give a couple of goes of that, I'll do it this way around so you can see how far up I've got my hands. So up here, elbow straight up, and just go that high, and then come back down. Okay? So we're going to do our first working set. So you're going to go to the bridge walkouts. So, in a nice bridge. And you go backwards and forwards five times in this one because it's a really hard exercise. So, away we go. So walk forward, one hand at a time, and then back. If that was easy, you can go a bit further, please do. So, walk forward, hold it, and then come back. So that was two. To keep those arms moving, we side to put one arm in the other. Weight distribution, one, then the other, walk it forward, to get to there, whatever it means for you, and bring it back. Two more of these. Last one. And then come back. Okay. So this one we're going to do Five reps again. This is quite a tricky one. If you're ready. So the aim is just to get your upper back off the floor and be careful of your head. That's one. My right, hips. Two. Three. Nice and controlled. Four, 
and fire. Come down and rest. Shake your wrists out. Sounds like for everyone. All okay? All good? Okay, so second set. Second working set. Get into a plank and walk forward. Just a centimetre at a time. And then back. There's one. And that's two. Three. And four. Starting to get tough now. Last one. Hold it there and come back. And rest. Shake out your wrist. <clears throat> so get back into the uh, bridge position. Okay, so really small movement. And away we go. Five reps. Up, hold it, and down. Good. And rest a little bit. Next one. Up, hold it, back down. That was two. Got three more. Up. And down. Shake it out if you need to. Get back in the position. Two more. One. And two. Okay. Last round. Get into your plank. Nice and strong core. Walk forward. And one. We can go through these quicker now. We're getting tired. Oh, I am anyway. Two. Three. Four. Really stretch. Last one. Go a little bit further. And come back. Great. That's fine. And last one of these of these bridges. Okay, so whatever you can do, you don't have to do five. You can just do one good one or two. So really, oh, one. Release. Two, shake it out. Three, two left. Four, last one. Get ready and go. Brilliant. Hold well on. So, our last exercise today is going to be uh, some pistols. So if you've got a chair available, I've got a couch here, which is quite good. So a pistol is a one-legged squat. And there's a variety of ways that you can do this one. You can start off, if you don't, can't do a full one, just have one foot in front of you on the ground. Sit back into your chair. And then rock forward and then come back up. If your legs are strong enough, Lift your leg up in the air, come down, and then back up. Okay, we've got that. And then the second one to this is a glute bridge with one leg. So if you get your pole, this is going to help you with your form. So we're trying to connect our upper body to our lower body. So with our free leg up straight, and then connect your shoulder to your hip. And just feel that line down there. And that line shouldn't move. 
And with your working leg, get it close to your butt and push down using your glute. Just relax your hamstring and push your hips up. And feel how everything moves in one go. Okay? You can do that without that, but it's a good guide just to begin with to get everything in line. Okay, so we start our working set. And this exercise is literally very, very difficult, so we're going to go for lower reps. We can go for five on this one, then go through ten on the glute bridge. So if you're ready, get ready to do the pistols. One leg out, or one leg on the floor, depending on what you want to do. I go for one leg up and sit down. One up, hips through, make nice and straight, and down. Rock back and forward, hips through. It's two, three, four. Always use your other leg to help you a little bit if you want. That's five, okay. Swap legs. We've all got a strong leg and a weak leg. This is my weak leg, so I'm gonna do the best I can. And up. Two. And three, starting to feel a little bit on that one. Two more. Last one, and up. Oh, I had a bit of a struggle. Okay, down until your glute bridges. You can use your pole if you want to. Connect your upper and lower body on a straight line. Working leg close to your backside. So, five to ten, whatever you can do on this. So one, two, three, four. Go as high as you can. And six. And seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Swap over. Okay, and off we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You can tell it's my strong side. Seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay, two more rounds to go. I think and one more actually, isn't it? <laughs> okay, on to pistols. Down and one. Five reps. Two. Three, four, and last one on that side, five. Change those, shake it out. One, two, three. Four and five. Okay, do bridges. You can do this without the pole if you want to practice. It's good to get good control, and but you can still use it if you want to. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. So over, nice straight leg, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, I think we've got our last set of pistols. And then we're going to hand over to Mary after this. So five more reps. Off we go. And one, two, three. I'm finding it quite hard now. Got two more. One more. And slowing down. Shake it out. Next leg. One. See, losing balance. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Oh. Last one. And five. Getting weak there. Last set of bridges. And in your own time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Last side. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I think that's it. I'll hand over to Mary now. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it wasn't too hard. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Oh, great one, Alex. Uh, let me just hand over to Mary now. Ooh. Right, Mary, you're going to come off mute, and you are now host. So I'm going to use a chair to have a stretch. I don't know if you've got one somewhere near you, but all of these can be done standing. So I'm just going to look at a few poses. So just using a chair just means that you're going to get a different angle of your um, muscles and things like that. So if you'd like to get a chair, then that's fine, or just something to balance on. Maybe a surface, but make sure that your chair is stable, that it's just not going to rock over. And I hope you're well. So we're just going to start with our arm, arm work. So we're just going to stretch out in front. I'm just binding my hands together, and I'm just stretching. So we've worked our shoulders, so we're going to just stretch those shoulders out. Okay, and then they can come up and over your head. So nice and tall, nice pencil stretch. And then we're just going to go from side to side. So really going through to the side, coming back up straight and just linking as Alex was doing the leg to the arms. You know, this is my favourite, it's trees in the wind. That's your east and your west. Coming up tall and going over to the side. And then we're going to go around. So keeping your hips quite straight, we're going to try and get the stretch to the east. And then coming round, you can come round with a back, flat back, and then go round to the other side. So just winding around, but stretching each time. So as we go over, I want you to stretch out. Come down, feel that stretch, nice stretch here, stretch with your arms and over to the side. And those arms go out when you go to the side. 
up nice and tall and around and just back to where we started. So this time we're just going to put our leg on our chair and just open up, open up. My knee is going the same way as my ankle and just opening up. My body, if I can get my hips straight, just straightening through. So that may be me all curled. Can I get height in my abdomen? Can I turn straight? Can my arms go straight? So same movement, just going down and up. A little bit of diagonal work. Forwards and back. I'm inhaling and then I'm just exhaling. And as I come in, I'm inhaling and I just want to stay there now. Can you reach down, reach with that hand? And just try to inhale and exhale. Reach the top hand up, reach the bottom hand down. Allow your body to settle. Inhaling and exhaling. Can you feel a stretch through here? Just challenge yourself. Everybody will be different. Where are you feeling the stretch? Are your shoulders opened? Coming up through. And then we're going to come over. So depending on where your knee is, it's okay to stretch your knee over your ankle if you want to. So that will be my stretch. So I'm coming up through the inner leg and I'm coming over. And again, I want our, our shoulders square I want us to reach, reach. I'm going to inhale, and as I exhale, I'm going to try and reach a little bit further. Reaching, 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 reaching. Can we keep that shoulder back? You may just want to do this. And just stay there as a reach. Do you want more of a stretch in your legs? Do you want more of a stretch in your arms? You decide. I'm just going to have a rest here. It's quite nice. I'm going to inhale and exhale. And this arm just wants to let go. While I'm supporting, I can just go round. I'm going to let my body go round. Just in a different position. Just going round in a circle. My leg wants to join in now. Inhaling. And exhaling, just going round and round. If you go into the rear yoga pose, your hand can go down, your hand's going down, and this arm comes over, feeling all that stretch through there. But you can still be here. But you can pull your arm. You decide. It's a lovely stretch through here. All up that IT band, all the way through. Wriggle and see where you are today. Let's do this with two hands in that circle. Round. You may want to stay here a little. Just stay. You may want to straighten that leg. Be careful of your balance. Just inhaling and exhaling. I think this is my favorite pose. I'm just gonna stay here for a few breaths. You decide where your favorite pose is. Maybe with your arm up, it may just be here. Maybe just wriggling your hips, make your hips go round. Move around here while you're balanced. Lovely, well done. Let's just go back. Let's do a side hamstring stretch. So I'm just concentrating on my leg. My toe's going to come up, so that's a shin stretch. I just need to move away a little so I'm getting the stretch. And that toe can come up. If you can't hold onto the toe, it doesn't matter. I'm just pulling my knee down. I'm getting a little bit of a hamstring stretch. Through there, chin is up, back is extended. Down you go. Some of my flexi friends, your, your chin will be on your leg. Other people, you may just bend your knee just to get a little bit more of a hamstring stretch. Okay, wherever you are, try and feel it at the back of your leg. So if we've done a hamstring, we're still working on that leg. So the same leg, 
Now we need to do a quad stretch. So if you can go backwards, so this is your quad, the front of your thigh, just get in a nice comfortable position and then come back. Come back and tall. Nice and tall. Come back through. And I know some of you are very good and you can actually um, pop your knee on, knee on the chair and hold that back. I'm going to do a standing quad stretch. So just a standing quad stretch. But remember there are four little bits to your quad. So maybe just stir that quad around. If you still got your balance. <laughs> Pull up. Okay, then we're changing to the other leg. So just so that you can see me, I'm changing my chair around. We're going to do exactly the same stretches on the other leg. So the other leg is just going to go up. How are you doing? Is this good? Yeah, you've got some good stretches going on? Well done. So remember, it's where you are today. We're just going backwards and forwards to begin with. Just backwards and forwards. And then I went sideways. So just opening up through your groin, thinking about that warrior two, but just playing. Where are you? We inhale and we exhale. As we extend, we exhale. I like to put my hand on my knee. It just stretches that a little bit more. So just inhaling and exhaling. Maybe just developing a little, just go a little bit deeper if you can. A little bit deeper. Have you kept that shoulder away? Does that feel good? Can you use that knee to open that thigh? Opening that thigh with your knee. So that, that's a bind. So you open that thigh. So I'm pressing with my elbow, my knee away. Then we bring our arms in, the same as before, just forwards and back. Backwards and forwards. So for me, I like to inhale as I go back and I like to exhale as I go forwards. Can you go forwards a little bit more? Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale and exhale. Just as we did the other side, we're going to stay down here. Down. How far down can you go? Going backwards. Going backwards. You may just want to be here. That's absolutely fine. Try and follow your hand and your, your eyes, your hand with your eyes and go backwards. Feel it through your rib cage. Just stay here, take a few breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Maybe coming in on the inhale and out on the exhale. Then, as we did before, joining those hands and round it comes. Round, that's fine. Remember, you're moving your, your hips, your knees. You just may just want to be just there. It's okay. And round in the other direction. Two arms may want to be together. Are you feeling the stretch somewhere? Is that body linking? Just with your breath, inhaling and exhaling. And then we're going to come down. I'm still going to try and keep it wide, but I'm going to stretch my hamstring. Instead of just always stretching it straight, the many parts of your hamstring, just coming down straight. I'm going to pull that toe back. If you can't reach your toe, that's fine. If you had a band, then you could always pull that toe back wherever you want to be. Pull that toe up, feel it in the back of your calf. Now for your hamstring, remember, you just want to go down. So if that's where you are, try and keep that back straight, try and keep some length. 
Try and just go down into that hamstring. If you want to bend your knee, that's still the insertion of your hamstring. If you don't want to do straight legged, you can do that bent legged. So inhale, and as you exhale, go down a little bit further. If you can get that head further down, then just let it drop. Let it drop. <laughs> inhale, and then think about length as you exhale. Just allow that body to settle. And slowly coming up, your chin on your chest. I'm coming up to standing. I'm going to move the chair away because I'm going to go down onto the mat. Before I go down onto the mat, I just want you to stand. So I just want you to allow your shoulders to relax back into the socket. I just want you to stand. Hands are loose. I'm just going to stand. That's absolutely fine. I'm just going to stand. Then we're going to think about going wide. And I think we've got a visitor to help us. <laughs> so this is what I love. When we want to go wide, it can actually be as a support <laughs> coming through. Going wide, we can use him. Let's go sideways. Again, we're going sideways. Then hopefully he'll come down as a down dog. Doing our arms as well. So arms at the back. Just allowing yourself to be. Then coming down to seated, coming round onto the mat. I want your, your legs in, in a diagonal, diagonally away. And then I want you just to roll over to one side. You're just going to roll over to one side. Rolling over. And just allow your body to settle on that side. And just inhale and exhale to that side. And allow your head to drop. If it's more comfortable bending your knee, then please bend your knee. Just get your twist over to that side. And walk ourselves around, walking central. And just over to the other side. You want to have your hand up and do the other way is just to run that hand down the side, down there, lifting the arm up and coming over. But I want you to be comfortable with your side stretch. So you may want to bring that knee up and just come down and just hold on to your knee as you go over. It doesn't matter that your, your chin doesn't go down straight. Just be comfortable going over to the side, stretching through those muscles that we've worked on Alex's circuit. Just allowing yourself to be. And gently coming up. I just want to do a little bit of hip mobility. That's your 99. So that's what I call 90. And that's 90, so it's 99. We want to sit tall and just allow those hips to be there. Allow it to be. Coming up to the centre and just rolling over. Rolling over. Roll over. Just nice and slowly. And this time, I want you to use your arm and I want you to come up and stretch. Again, round your shoulder, just lifting. And through. And coming back down. Around you go to the other side. Changing the legs around. Coming up nice and slowly. Using your back hand to support you. And then just coming up and through. Remember stretching through all the way through. Down slowly. I want us just to go up to all fours. We've done quite a lot of arm work. I want you just to be on your elbows and I want you just to open and close your back. So I want you to do, I just stand up so you can see me. I want you on your elbows and I want you to curl up your back and open. 
So curling and opening in your own time, nice and slowly, up and down. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale as you tuck in and exhale. And you're on all fours. I'm just standing up so that you can see me. So you're there. I want you to thread the needle. I want that arm to come under and just allow yourself to relax. I just do it on the chair as my balance just to show you. So you're on your all fours and I want you to go down like that. So you're just coming through and allow your shoulder to relax to the side. Call that threading the needle. Just melt into that position. This is your time. Just allow it to be. And bring that arm up and changing arm so the other arm goes through. See that twist in the side, in your back. And allow it to be, allow it to melt. Just inhaling and exhaling. Then I want you to come down flat on the mat. So you're just going to come down, lying face down. I'm just going to stand up a little so that you can see me. And I want you to take your right leg and I want you just to twist it over your body. You're lying flat on the mat and that leg is just twisting over. And as you twist over, you may want to roll a little bit further with your arm. Remember you're lying down on the mat. Just allow your body to settle at that diagonal stretch. Coming back round nice and slowly. And you're changing legs. So the other leg goes is straight back. And you're just rolling over, but you're keeping your shoulders there. And just opening with your hand. And you're flat on the mat. So you're just crossing over. And then bring your leg back. And you're lying on your mat, but I want you just to bring your arms above your head like we did in um, Alex's press up. And I want them to be in a diamond position. So I want your arms in a diamond position, lying on your tummy with your arms in a diamond position. And then I want your head to rest to one side. So just rest your head to one side, keeping your arms in that lovely diamond position. And inhaling. And exhaling. Gently turn your neck to the other way. Keeping your arms. We're going to move our arms into the W. So arms are at 90-90. Into a W position. Your head has changed sides. And just allow your body to relax. I want you to you to change your arm position. I want you to change your head position. So your arms are going to go into a T. So that's straight across. And just turn your head to one side. Inhaling and exhaling. Then I want you to put your hands behind your back and turn your head to the other, other side. And I want you to roll your shoulders back as you're lying on the floor. Means that your torso is straight and your shoulders can just go backwards. Inhaling and exhaling. Then you're just going to bring your arms forward in whatever position feels comfortable. We're going to do our resting position on our tummies this time. 
So you're just lying on your tummy. You may find it easier with your hands by your side. You may have your hands, you may have your hands in front of you and your head just rests on your arms. So your head may just rest on your arms. And I want your breath to settle. I just want you to inhale and exhale. In this way, the, the base of your lungs is free to fill up. Just inhaling and exhaling. Just let your body be. Your head was on one side, just change sides. Just gonna stay here for another 20, 30 seconds. Just inhaling and exhaling. Wherever you thought your arms feel comfortable, wherever you feel comfortable, just let it be. Can you concentrate on your breath? Can you take a deep breath in and out? that air in and then just let your body relax let it go let it go inhaling and relaxing in your own time take one big breath in and then just let it go And then I want you just to slowly tap your feet, stretch your shins out. And bring your elbows in, coming up to your all fours. Into your cap, into your child's pose. Let's do a wild ch uh, wide child's pose. So your legs go out, your knees go out, and your head goes in between your knees. That's your wide child's pose. And then just pressing yourself up. And coming round to your seated. Round to cross legs. And as you know, I'm going to then just curl my back. So this time I want you to curl your lower back. I want you to feel it in your lower back. I don't mind how you cross your legs. Just have your legs crossed. But curl everything in. And then gather that air in. And then out. And we just gather the air in in front of you. Stretch forward this time. And pull it up tall. Where we started. Going down. Hands together this time. And down through the centre line. And forward again. Breathing out. Inhaling. And exhaling. Bring it in towards you this time. Hands in whatever position you like. And up and out one more time. Gather all that air in. Reach forward, coming up. And there you have it. Well done you, you've worked really hard tonight. Thank you for joining Alex and I. I've really enjoyed your circuit, Alex. And I hope to meet you on the mat next Monday, if not before, when I do a bit of a manic class on Friday. But thank you. Well done everyone. Thanks guys. Uh, guys, we've got another circuit on Wednesday. Mary and Alex and I will share the details for, and then we've got Mary's Fitness Fives. Um, those people like me who enjoy a painful weekend of recovery. See it's really lovely, really lovely to see everyone. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.